Hey guys and girls, so real quick, I'm just going to show you how to properly flush a tankless water heater. So this one here is a Paloma model. It's uh, made by Ream. It's quite an older model actually. Knock on wood. It's been working okay. It's been giving me some issues uh, with the water staying on hot. So the last video I showed, I showed how to clean off the, uh, the igniters and the thermocouple. So real simple, especially if you have the actual uh, installation kit or the bypass kit. So what you do, turn off the valves so that there's no water actually going into the unit itself. I also like to shut off the main water, shut off the uh, gas supply. Obviously everything's unplugged as well. So what I like to do next is I hook up these hoses and I'll just have them sitting into the bucket and then open up these valves and then what that does is it allows the water from the unit to drain down into the bucket and it saves you a little bit of mess. So what I've done is I've just taken, I think this is, it's like a third horse, probably even smaller than that actually, pump and these hoses here are just simply uh, washer machine hoses. They were uh, old ones because I'd replaced um, the old ones with the new ones. So these are the old ones here. And uh, you just hook it up to the pump. You simply plug it in. And you let it start to circulate and do its thing. And then what I've done is I've added in just five liters of straight white vinegar. If you want also, uh, you can use cleaning vinegar, but I find that this works just fine. Cleaning vinegar does work very well though. And as you can see, it's just circulating through there. So it's gonna circulate through the water system in here. It's gonna clean out any of the calcium and other deposits and hopefully give you lots of good use out of it. So there you go. I'll let this run for probably half an hour or so and uh, we'll see what happens. So if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. We'll see you on the next one.